Hi guys, today we're going to solve a problem found in Fundamentals of Physical Chemistry by Maron and Lando. And you can find this in page 57. So we will be solving problem number 5. So let me read the problem first. At 0 degrees Celsius and under a pressure of 1000 mm mercury, a given weight of N2 occupies a volume of 1 liter. At negative 100 degrees Celsius, the same weight of gas under the same pressure occupies a volume of 0 0.6313 liter. So calculate the absolute zero in degrees centigrade. So as you can see, this is a simple ideal gas problem. So let me first write yung mga given natin so we will be able to answer our problem. So first we have our initial temperature. So we have temperature 1 which is equal to 0 degrees Celsius and under a pressure of 1,000 millimeter mercury and a given weight N2 occupies a volume of 1 liter. So we have our volume 1 which is 1 liter. Now, at one, negative 100 degrees Celsius, so we are given now our second condition which is negative 100 degrees Celsius at the same weight of the gas, so as you can see, we have a fixed amount of gas on this problem. And under the same pressure, so we have the same pressure in our second condition. We have 1,000 milli millimeter mercury, so that means we are having constant pressure in this problem. Okay, and it occupies a volume of 0 0.6313 liters. Okay, so... As you can see, our condition on this problem is that we have a fixed amount of gas, okay, in here, and we also have constant pressure. So that means, as I already said earlier, we have an ideal gas problem here in which we have a constant pressure. So if we have a constant pressure, that means we will be using Charles' law in which our V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. And we have to take note, we have to find out the absolute zero in degrees centigrade, okay? So, let us substitute our given. So, first, meron tayong volume 1. Our volume 1 is 1 liter. And then, our temperature 1, which is um, 0 degrees Celsius, okay, plus yung hinahanap natin absolute zero okay so let us use a variable x to identify that okay so this is equal to our v2 which is 0 0.6313 liters divided by our temperature 2 which is negative 100 degrees celsius plus okay our variable x so first, as you can see, we have the same unit in our numerator, so we can cancel this out. Okay, so now you know that we are working with um, a unit having degree Celsius. So in that case, uh, let me remove our unit para mas madali natin siyang makalculate. Okay, so we have 1 over 0 plus x is equal to 0 0.6313 over negative 100 plus x, okay? So remember, we are working with degree Celsius as our unit. Okay, so now we need, what we need to do next is to isolate our variable x because uh, that is actually what we are looking for on this problem. So we need to solve this alge algebraically in order to solve x. So we are going to isolate our variable x. So solving for this, uh, we have negative... 100 plus x is equal to 0 0.6313 times x. Okay? As I said, we're, we need to isolate our x. So we have x. Then we will um, transpose this uh, given term here. So it will be minus 0 0.6313x is equal to then transposing negative 100. We will have 100 in here okay all right so we have now x minus 0 0.6313 so we have 1 minus 0 0.6313 so we have 0 
x is equal to 100. Now, solving for x, we need to divide both sides by 0 0.3687. So, we have x is equal to 100 over 0 0.3687. Okay, so we need to solve for that. So, we have x is equal to, let us use our calculator. So, we have 100 divided by 0.3687. Okay, so we have 271.22. And as I said, we are working with a temperature of degree Celsius. And this will be our final answer for this problem. If you check the book, uh, the answer is actually written at the bottom. No? So, makita ninyo na pareho yung naging sagot natin.